Let's see, there's one empty spot. Touching so. Starting with the first ones, which were blue. Yeah, it's somewhere around 629. Looks like 629 was the last blue one, huh? And appears 630 is not blue. These all came from one place, an old school. We're upgrading the machines and I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Some whites. Some older fingers. Some older whites. Some more modern whites. Um, we're about to reveal the most beautiful machine in the world. But before we do, we're just going to kind of look at some of these parts machines. What do we got here? Finger 27 or 127 on the bottom there. We have Canmore starting with 158 1200. 1300 series, 1400 series, 1500 series, oops, 1300 series, 1300 series again, 1400 series, 1500 series, 1500 series, 1600 series, 1700 series, 1800 series, or here's 1700 series, here's more 1700 series, I ran out of room, there's just a couple of 1800 series. Up here is your 1900 series. Then you got all these mixed match chemors that never got to put away. They're new incomings. I got the stickers on top so I can read them. And we got the uh, 158s with the bigger numbers, like a 523. Oh, yeah, there was a request here for. Uh, hmm, I don't see it. Anyways. Uh, more one five eights with the bigger numbers, and then we got the just a little bit of one four eight series. Then underneath here we got some new home, some brother, some Montgomery Ward, some more brothers. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well let's get to where we were gonna do today. Another one of them peak machines, is it? No. <coughs> I think it's that good housekeeping. All right, we're going to reveal the most beautiful machine in the world. Where's my tripod? Oh, there it is. You see it? Let's see here. Still rolling? Just nod your head yes if we're still rolling. I really don't like this tripod. It should have a way to tilt it down more. It doesn't. So I'm pretty disappointed. I gotta come way back here. All right, are we all ready? 
The amount of money I paid for this, what is that? What's that say? Priceless. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what I paid for it, right? It's priceless. And what did I do with my gloves? Because my hands are cold. We'll get a tool here. Maybe we should do the table first. What do you think? It's been under plastic for over 87 and a half years. And I'm about to open it. This is very exciting. Oh, why do my knees hurt? What's that all about? Oh, a knife works nice. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Serious guess, I would say it's really been under plastic for a bowl. This was donated to me to do whatever I want with it. But she was moving out of state and she didn't think of any better what thing to do with it than to give it to me. She gave me this machine as well as uh, about five or six others. And I asked her, I said, you know what that's worth, right? And she said she knew. So I said, okay, I'll take it. I'll be glad to take it. And thank her. I've seen this table before. Once before, I visited a member. This is the first time I've ever seen this machine. And ever since then, I wanted one. But her table was all messed up. And I guess she was working on maybe refinishing re it. But luckily in me, this doesn't mean anything since I don't need it. I don't know anything about woodwork. Thank you. Nothing happened to it. It's as beautiful as I remember it. <sighs> Almost puts a tear in my eye. It's so beautiful. That little bit, I don't remember that, that nick in the top though. I hope I didn't do that. This is just a cover, that's right. This is just a cover. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I wonder if I got the cords. Oh boy. Very careful with it. Let's look in the drawers, maybe the cords are in here. Uh oh, is that a fake one? Yep. One of these gotta be real though. Oh my goodness, look at the amount of treasure. It has the manual. Has the manual. The most beautiful machine in the world. And, and, a, and an article about here's a source for needles. Interesting. Maybe I'll read that. There's some screwdrivers in here. Old needle pack. You all see that? Pretty cool. I don't want to even set it on the table. Very nice. And I'm so happy the cords are here. I think I'm going to put it together. Because it deserves to be together. It was only taken apart for transport. Is that an original tag on there? Look at it, it's just full of treasures in there. These are pretty fairly simple to find though. This, this is a particular set of attachments. Not that hard to find. 
Oh my goodness. I love it. To top it off, it comes with a little oil can. Now how cool is that? I don't know what this thing is for though. Can anybody tell me what this is for? Is it just in the wrong box? Looks like a bobbin to me, but it don't go to this machine. Because here are the bobbins that go to this machine. I have these for sale, by the way. Genuine ones with the hole in them. Don't buy the ones without the holes. Nobody likes them. There's a couple screwdrivers in there. It has one cord. Is that all I need? I need two cords for this, don't I? I need one to plug into the wall. Oh no, who, who am I ever going to go to for sewing machine parts? No, no. I know a guy though. I know a guy. He be hooking me up all the time. He's pretty close too. We're going to put that book back in there. And uh... What else? We're going to put everything back in there, I guess. Yep, just like I found it. The bobbins on the bottom. Cord on the bottom. At least I got one cord. I just got to get the other one. That is a, is that for real a fake note or is it? No, it is not fake. It is not fake. It is just stuck. Inside the door. Is that missing off the machine? Wow, good. I wonder if the cord's in there. That's all I can feel. Well, there's no damage to the table. It's just that that door is stuck now. That door is stuck. Now, if I was to put the machine in this table, what am I going to do with this tabletop? I think I'm going to put the tabletop on and put back on it. So that's on. And then I got a piece of thing I was using. I'm going, what am I going to use it for? And I just thought about what I'm going to use it for. It's an old tabletop. And we're going to protect this table with this old tabletop. And then we'll use that to reveal the most beautiful machine in the world. Woo! It's not easy being me. Oh, boy. It's so not an easy job. You got to haul around 500 pound sewing machines all day long, up hills both ways, in the snow, in the cold. Oh. I'm going on an adventure pretty soon. Go buy a Fred Sanford trailer, about 12 foot, with wood on the side, called the Woodside. Woodside trailer, that's what I'm going to do. Ta da! The most beautiful machine in the world! Super rare! Made out of solid bronze. That's what Bob said. Solid bronze. It is the bronze white. Solid bronze. Solid. This solid. Oh boy. Let me get my glasses. I wonder if I can 
that light goes to that this machine? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see here. 